Well, I, I was thinking like in terms of our, our future episodes, like I, I think it'd be super um, super cool if we did like hire our own all guest thing. But we need one of us from the main crew to be like the moderator amongst everyone. That's gonna. Be- we already do a, an all guest thing. It's called a uh, 2019 review. <laughs> yeah. Oh, technically. Why, do we still do this? Is... <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this, what? This, this, this is new to me. Oh, okay. So, update. <laughs> update from last week. I'm more than halfway done with Random Girlfriend. Uh, not bad. Okay. like it's. Hey, hang on. Is this like the official start of the podcast? Is. Have we started the podcast yet? I think, I think we've, we've technically started the, started the podcast. Okay. Hello, this everybody. Hi. We're oh, oh, I thought of an Let's intro. We can, I can do an intro. Oh, you have an intro? Random girl nice. or, All right, everyone shut the fuck up. Charles doing her intro. Okay. Well, like this thing. this. Megan, shut the fuck up and let Sean do her intro. Okay. Okay. I didn't know she did the intro. Jeez, I couldn't do it. She's already in the face of Rent-A-Girlfriend. Like, we cannot stop talking. We need the Rent-A-Girlfriend. I need to talk about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> to discuss it. Well, okay. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Tokyo Podfather's Speakeasy Episode 2. We are just We're, hanging we out are just... and having kind of a free talk Friday oh. on Sunday. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what? You robot, it's so hard. <laughs> no, I hate this. Okay, can I try again? Can Welcome back, back to robot. Tokyo Podfather's Speakeasy Episode 2. Bleep, bloop, blop, bleep, blop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your first I'm like, oh, host this, this robot. Is really good. Welcome to the Rent a Girlfriend podcast. <laughs> I told you guys, it's man versus technology. Like that's just the struggle. <laughs> this is already great. Amazing. I hate this. <laughs> Go on. Do I keeping try- that? Do- oh, so we just keep that? We're just <laughs> keeping that. Okay. Okay. So, there are no mistakes is- on this. This is Robot um. Shaw, joined by hopefully not Robot Bacon. Hey, what's up, guys? I I exist in the anime community. <laughs> we, got, we also got Base Becker added again. I haven't heard that username in a long time. I actually. thought of it like right now. I was like, "What do I say?" Oh my god, he's based. He's Bex. Based on what? <laughs> <laughs> and, we also, <laughs> and we got Colonel Panic. Hey, how's it going? And we got Chip Eating Moz. Oh, uh, these are peach rings. I'm absolutely addicted to gummy peach rings and apple rings. Oh my god. Oh, dude, Ooh. my guy. Yeah, good stuff. That's that not keto. Can't eat that. I don't give and a it might fuck, be keno. Man. It is keno. <laughs> they are keno, yeah. Oh okay, if I robot during this, just chalk it up to me losing against the Matrix in my technology struggles this weekend. Apologies. If Whatever. I robot okay. During this, we replaced Shaw with footage of the movie I Robot. <laughs> read that i actually movie, like actually. i robot but me and panic had a funny conversation where he's like it's the pinnacle of a movie you put on tv when nothing else is on that but is. you wouldn't watch it on your own yeah it's, that is the only yeah, way yeah, I've seen the movie. On, like, F- i have seen this movie shit, maybe like, yeah. seven or eight times but i've never put it on it's just on tv <laughs> <laughs> i feel that there are a lot of movies on my uh, i think most will Smith like movies that. might be like that which movies True. qualify for you guys this wasn't my opening, but this is a good opening Ooh, topic. So, uh, so a movie that's just kind of like, I'll sit around, I'll put on background yeah, while it's I Yeah, it's like the pinnacle of a TV movie where you would never go out of your way to watch it, but if it's on TV, yeah. you'll put it on. I think the Harry like, If you see it on AMC or some shit, you're like, oh, I guess I could watch this, right? Yeah. I feel like sometimes the Harry Potter movies are just on. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter weekend every weekend. Every yeah. holiday, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter's <laughs> in the Terminator chat. films. Like those are good movies, but I don't yep. really have motivation to watch those outside of like them being on TV. Yeah, I think mine is the town, which is kind of a weird one. Wait, which one is the, the town? town? Is that the one that's like based? Uh, is that the Mill Gibson? I want to say it's Ben. Affleck. No, that's the one. That's like the Ben Affleck one with that's um heist Jeremy one, right? Renner, and it's in Boston, oh, okay. and they're like, Bastard. it's like he, yeah, he ends up like robbing a bank or some shit where there's like some woman there, and she like saw who they were or something so they had to hold her hostage and then he starts dating her but it's kind of like it's kind of like a That's gangster awesome. film but it's just That's with like cool. the italian no not That's the italian the irish mob. <laughs> no, I, yeah I, I, like, it got I, I like that movie that one i'd actually sit down and watch that oh movie. yeah it's a really fun movie i really like it jeremy okay. renner got nominated for an oscar for it so it's pretty is legit it, is it m night Shyamalan? no of course not no oh, that was a Shyamalan movie or what no that's the village oh. Oh, the oh, village. Really? That's why. Yeah, yeah. No, this was directed <laughs> by Ben Affleck. 
This was like, oh. he made this movie and people were like, Ben Affleck is good. And then he did that other movie that got nominated for an Oscar about journalism in like Fargo? Iran. And then he oh, became the oh, Batman and people were like, no, no, go back. We don't like this. We don't, we don't endorse oh, fuck, this. Go back. <laughs> yeah, go back. I love that button. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> oh, go back. Oh, no, we, we don't want this. Upgrade, upgrade. Oh, shit. <laughs> what, was, what was your intro, Shaw? <laughs> or, or the not your intro oh, but like the first opening topic, game oh okay this yeah. is actually okay this is the hardest question of the day okay so i saw this on twitter it's one of those like you get four options but oh, so oh oh beep, boop, beep. <laughs> we can't hear you we can't hear you we cannot hear you oh my god i hate this can you hear me now <laughs> Yes. Just okay. <laughs> sound it out. It's okay. No. Okay. Okay. Fingers crossed. So pick one to get rid of and you keep the other three. Okay. Okay. Bread, pasta, rice, or potatoes. Dude, that's this free. is the behind the scenes of fall 2019. <laughs> fall 2020. Yeah, we, I think we brought it up for that one. I had to bring it back. I would say oh, pasta. Sorry. Get rid of pasta. Out of all of those. Why pasta? Because mm. I like the other three better. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> potatoes options. are the goat. Uh, bread goes... Bread is such a key part of many, many things. Yeah. Agreed. And rice with curry is fucking amazing. <laughs> a- anything Actually, that's... yeah, you know what? I'll go with pasta as well. Fuck pasta. You eat it out of there. I'll say I'd say pasta too because there, there's such a fine line between how you cook it and you could ruin it completely and like there's no shame yeah it gets mushy and you can't really save it if you cook rice badly you could save it for fried rice later if you cook bread badly i mean honestly if you cook bread it's burned but like you know we'll get around that i want to find who has someone ever answered potatoes to this because i I think they have i think the least picked option is bread yeah because bread makes sense right it's it's so well, well. The thing with the bread, it's like you know, burgers, sandwiches, people burgers, like, oh, pizza. pizza. It's pizza. just do a lettuce wrap. I'm like oh. toasted. Like what would what would Yui have in her mouth if not bread? <laughs> what, running out the girls. front door, like potato. Well, she, she would, would have a bowl. You know of what? Spaghetti. Yeah, she would have like a, <laughs> some lasagna. <laughs> like, well, that's why I love <laughs> the anime, uh, the Daily Lives of High School Boys, where like they're running out the the door and one guy's having fondue. It's like what the. F- <laughs> that, that's hilarious. Good, good times, man. I, I, I've been getting afraid of my anime list because, like, there's so many things I want to rewatch now. But then again, I'm like, ah, oh, me watching anime. That's that doesn't happen. But rewatching is actually pretty fun. I've enjoyed rewatching yeah. stuff a lot more recently. Same. I, I think I rewatch scenes more. I do I like doing that. I rewatched that one scene in Hunter Hunter where Gon lands the first. His first punch on Hisoka. Ooh, I'm, like, I'm like, man, dude, dude, this this is hype as hell. God, what have you been? Shaw, what have you been rewatching? Um, I so me and Sinners have an anime contract where I'm supposed to watch um Ergo Proxy. So I've been blowing that off to rewatch Tatami Galaxy. That's because... the best way to rewatch things. That's a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. not the first day, but that's a good choice. I told him too because he likes Tatami Galaxy more than Ergo Proxy. So I'm like, bad news, good news, and he's like, okay, I'll take this. That's fine. <laughs> uh, you know what? But it's been a pretty Yeah, it's a net win. I will watch Ergo Proxy, but I just get like, if I have to watch something, I'm not going to watch it. Right. Yeah, and it's been, been really fun. I've been rewatching a lot of stuff because I've been painting a lot. I can't. I don't want to watch put stuff on where I have to keep reading. So if I've seen it before, then I know when to look up. Yeah, <laughs> pay attention. What are you rewatching? Uh fuck! I just finished one. I think I just rewatched all of Tanya. Ooh. Before. And then I've been planning to rewatch Prison School because it's been a hot minute and it's. Fucking oh, amazing. I want to finish that. That one's really good. It's really feel- funny. Oh no! Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, that's it. It's just a really okay. funny show. Uh, came out. I just found out today that it came out the same season as March to Musume. I feel like that was the yeah. season of like good, like etchy oh, comedies. Exactly. Summer 2015. Shout out. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I've, I have yet to watch Prison School, but I feel like it'd be right up my alley. Oh my alley. god, you I'm would really absolutely fucking love it. I can, I so, so here, yeah, here's the thing. I, I do, I do, 
I don't take offense when people are like, oh, I'm surprised you've seen this because I, I guess I am the lewd guy now. Yeah, I'm the lewd dude. Yeah, yeah. And, and <laughs> we're, I in the top, we're in the top of Moss's lewd dude ranking. Dude, thank you, Moss. I, I do appreciate it. Oh, we should it. talk about that lewd, uh, that horny ranking. That's a horny Yeah, ranking. I haven't seen that. What's, what's the deets? <laughs> it's yeah, pending podcast it. discussion. All oh. right. Let me just pull it up here. Just a second. Okay. I forgot. Um, Whip it out. <laughs> I think the context was. I think the context was okay. So Sinris yesterday he posted a Hanakawa fan art, and oh, of yes. course, naturally, everyone was like, "Ha ha, um, the uh, fucking, uh, fucking, look at those fuck, fucking b- 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 um, mm-hmm. But that then I, but not boobs. I did like this. Uh, this uh, yeah. like re- this sh- this stupid like shitty fake analysis that was like trying to be really pretentious and shit. Like this whole paragraph about why the fan art is good. Yeah. Um, and then and then Becker just like said randomly that he's the least horny member of the podcast. So I'm just like, okay, let let let's think about this. Let's, let's press extra this. doubt on that one for now. <laughs> let's debate uh, uh, who is who. Let's let's go. Let's crunch the numbers. Who's the horniest and least horny member of the podcast? Truly. So I just randomly made a list. Um, the list is a joke and not actually serious, but also true. But it also true. is accurate, accurate, but it's you're, true. You're, you're <laughs> for me, being like tier two is like a little questionable at best. Like, huh. I'll admit, Wait, well, tier like, two. That is I'm tier two. Like, this I this when I say that I'm like true. the least horny member, but like, I mean, there are better reasons to why I am horny, <laughs> but these are not the good reasons. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, what? So what's the tier list okay uh, i think it was pinned it's in the it's in the podcast discussion yeah, yeah. tier one degenerates okay it's me and it's me and bacon <laughs> oh yeah for, think for obvious reasons i have the spin-off server for the nutcast where we just post porn <laughs> it's great yeah. uh bacon arguably the most open about his tastes and the quickest to make a dirty joke also part of the main duo of the hentai episodes uh, and I you have a 2B mouse pad, you forgot to mention. <laughs> so I, I'm not I think, okay, that is definitely horny. And, and he has actual Faku books. I think you could actually you make a case for Bacon being yes. number one. It's just that yeah, you, we see so. panic more. So I feel like <laughs> I just have to be there. <laughs> just, I feel yeah. like pan- I feel like panic weirdly like takes it more seriously. Like <laughs> bacon is like more invested and he'll like shell out money for it, but panic is like a lifestyle. But, like Try in a again. good way. Go back try 10 it, seconds, try, try again. Try I that. hate this. Like, I hate this. <laughs> try it. Try yeah, it like, really, at, least, at least we're not streaming this this time. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I feel like panic is like more serious, even if bacon might be more attached to it. I don't know. Hmm. Well, well, well it's it's serious here. Oh, wait, it wasn't pinned. I'm pinning this. It is pinned. Fucking whatever. It is Fuck. pinned. It is, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Let me, let me explain my side of it. For me, it's kind of the whole. I'm trying to kind of fight back against people who think it's like weird to be open about like being into like, these 2D things and 3D, you know, like like pornography and stuff like that. Because you know, growing up when like watching anime, automatically when people ask me if I watch anime in school and i'm just like oh yeah they're like oh dude did you watch hentai oh like you're so weird and then it just puts you in that category of all those who watch anime watch hentai because all anime is hentai and so yeah now that i'm an adult i could handle myself better i have like a decent yeah. life the thing is it's kind of we're adults what are you gonna do to me if you find out i watch hentai believe me so like, that's why when people are like Hey, you watch hentai? I'm like, hell yeah, dude. I'll recommend you some good hentai right now, man. Here, check it out. And I just pull oh, my man. phone out. And they, they get weirded out. And I'm like, that's what I thought, man. Because you don't want to go a level of crazy that I'm going to go to. <laughs> it's right. just, what you are know you what they'll do? do? They'll report you to the Australian government. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, dude, then they're going to flip me upside down and like force me. <laughs> what are you even doing? You're gonna, they're going to put you, they're going to stuff you into a kangaroo's pouch and <laughs> pop around for a while. They waterboard me with Vegemite slowly. <laughs> no, oh, God, it's so bitter. A lesson. Ooh. Oh, God, bitter. Oh, Vegemite. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> what even is it? I don't get it. What does this taste? But, uh, but I'll, I will say this although I am pretty open about it, I have been more or less trying to tighten things up because in the future i you know in the future if i ever have a family stuff like that my my future kids are like hey dad this thing i found like oh god here we go <laughs> oh no oh geez <laughs> oh no 
Like, don't be surprised if I have to set a blowtorch to everything. Like, guys, guys, shut down everything. You don't want me. We could just show it. And and Onesan love each other very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> See, son, there's this thing that you saw. Well, it's funny because my my buddies, they're, they're, my friends are all like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to keep my kids away from bacon. I'm like, no, 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 don't think of it like that. Okay, that's really weird. Because they think that I'm gonna infect them by making them watch Ghouls and Panzer or something like that, which I will try. But no, <laughs> you will. Truly, so. <laughs> truly, I can't imagine a worse fate. Maz, <laughs> why? But the th the thing that they're afraid of is like, oh, I don't want them to like learn about hentai or anime, and I'm just like, dude, it's too late because it's too rampant. You know what I'm gonna do to your kids? I'm just gonna get a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'm gonna get Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> slip it, slip it somewhere into their textbooks. Without you knowing, and then once they lay eyes on Dark Magician Girl, it's over. Done. Yeah, they're in too deep I, already. They're in, they're in too deep. That's really funny that they have the perception that you're like gonna infect them or like corrupt their minds with this. Because I've never gotten that impression from you. I always thought it's like wholesome horniness, you know? Yeah, yeah and that's that's my point. It's just like, ooh, yeah. what else? Anyway, but when then they're like, no, nah, man, like get away from my kid. My kid's gonna be an all star, but basketball player or whatever. And I'm like, no, oh, yeah, he can be. But the thing is, they're two they're they're both two routes that are gonna lead your kid to getting horny on hentai. Because if I put that dark magician card in the presence of your kid somewhere in your house and they find it, if they show they it will to you, Google the name and they will find stuff. Exactly. And it's too late because once they lay eyes on it, and I experienced this too when I first laid eyes on like a horny anime girl when I was like when the internet was still like thriving, is like on one end, you could be the bad parent and be like, you're not supposed to look at that. You need to not look at it ever again. Don't show that crap around me. You're repressing it, which means it's going to get worse. Or if you're open about it, the internet's vast. They're going to end up finding it more from their friends. They're going to meet a kid at school that's wearing the hentai sweater. It's over, dude. You cannot protect your kid from anime and hentai. It's impossible, not unless you're the helicopter parent, which means it'll get even worse. It's about you... time, son. This folder has gone passed down to generations <laughs> Man, how thick it's like that. all it's like a, one for all but it's porn <laughs> porn for all new definition of all for one then... <laughs> it's like it's like the hentai back in like 1950s it's like oh this is horrible it's all black and white it sucks <laughs> Dude, i can't I can't nut to this and then you get to the early 2000s stuff and it's just 10 out of 10 and then you get to the current stuff and it looks like shit again <laughs> oh look how they massacred my boy like, <laughs> like, like, look at Betty Boop. Like, I bet most people back then were just like, hmm, yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'm into that. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> look at that weird head. <laughs> it's just, it's, ar it's archaic, you know? Uh, I don't know. The, the future for me, like, it's, I just try to be adult about things. I don't like these people that are all like, oh, I'm good. Oh, that's weird. It's like, no, 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 check it. Like, I've recommended hentai to people at work. Obviously, it's they ask me. Pretty chill work environment. That's pretty dope. Yeah, we're usually playing, you know, Smash and all that, and then yeah. like, well, bro, they, do they... you know Kuro Inu? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, nah. No, they just, you know, people just are. They ask anime recommendation recommendations for me. I do one, I do One Piece um updates for people who are watching One Piece. I'm like, hey, what are you watching? And then like, you know, it'll slip in a conversation, and they're like, oh yeah, dude, Nami's super thick, and I'm like, oh yeah, she's super oh, thick, dude. Yes. I, I I could send you some good. Uh, loots of her, and they're like, "No, nah, I'm good." How about Robin, though? <laughs> you know, dude, bring back a dark skin Robin. You I'm know, tan what? Robin. She's on a ship all day. Why isn't she tan? That, that's uh, I, that's the same for all of them, honestly. All of them, honestly, yeah. yeah also, fucking pale makes no sense. Yeah, like you would think, you would think they'd like have tan lines. I think or, even Sorrow was kind of darker in the beginning, wasn't he? Was I think it's because he always he always slept out in the sun. Yeah. Is what is my theory on that. And I then, also feel like his hair got greener. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, suddenly your hair just gets greener. Yeah, it's like people are just like sliding up the contrast on the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I oh, heard that, Moz. Don't worry. <laughs> tier tier um, two. Well, let's look at the tier two. Uh, oh wait, can uh, you? Okay, right. wait. I want to read it out loud because we'll have people listening who aren't in the podcast or watching who who aren't in the podcast server. Um, and I don't want to read it because I'm gonna go full rope. Robot. So, Maz, can you read out so everyone, everyone at home can understand? All right, match the tier list. Please. Yeah, yeah, okay. and the descriptions because they're funny. All right, tier two, the questionable. Uh, wait, do I start from the beginning or just go? Yeah, might as well. 
Yeah, All so right. this is member horny power rank rankings. Official yeah. Tokyo Podfather's horny power rankings. Parentheses. Yes, this is a joke. Tier one, the degenerates, the the lowest of the low. Um, <laughs> go to horny jail immediately. Warrants oh, out for the their arrest. Hey. Panic number. Panic number one. Uh, literally runs a server that's just this server, but with porn. Uh, I don't think there's <laughs> any any debating there. Um, yeah. Uh, case closed. Uh, number two, bacon arguably the most open about his tastes and quickest to make a dirty joke and part of the main duo of hentai episodes and again let's reiterate um some pills just fell uh let's reiterate that he has actual faku books and uh did everything that he just said that he did so there you go uh evidence is right there tier two questionable this means they can kind of it, it depends on what day of the week it is you know like they could go up <laughs> they could go down um, they might argue about it with whatever. Uh, fuck them. Uh, number three, uh, Maz avidly fights against looting his waifu, but everyone else is fair game. Sometimes goes on weird, violent rants about random anime girls. Uh, so yeah, uh, that 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 that's kind of sus. Uh, number <laughs> four, Becker. Becker directs the hentai episodes, and half his musical library is horny music. And at the, he'll debate this, but like all the stuff you post in La Musica is horny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That that's hard. bullshit. That's, that's such hard. bullshit. That's all no, 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 bro. Wait. Dragon Ball Durag bro. is horny. Whoa. Okay, I'll admit to Dragon Ball Durag <laughs> being horny. I'm literally listening to that song right now, and I will admit, yeah, it's a little horny. I'll admit that. <laughs> I think However, you gotta be the king. Kate, you gotta Kate. admit being the king of horny music. I mean, you like okay. you made you the JoJo Part Five ending your birthday. like theme song. <laughs> Like I'll admit, like the last like ten songs I've posted in La Musica, like, maybe two <laughs> or three of them are horny. Like that's about it. I wouldn't say half though. I think that's a little much. Ah, to be honest. Honest. I think. I, also, I think this it, one's going to be up. Uh, to, I think the jury's out for this. I think it's going to be also up to your wife who is C two, the queen of ass. Yes. Yeah, okay. I, I really Becker it, that because Becker actually does post really elegant, uh, very tasteful fan art. So very tasteful. I do. That in. See, that's, yeah, the both... thing, that's the distinction I'm trying to make is like, I'm not like the, I guess, quote unquote horny. I would say I'm a little bit more like a uh, tasteful horny. Would I you guess? say that you're like, a man of culture? The, I mean, you are in the middle of the pack here. You're four out of nine. <laughs> yeah. Technically. Yeah, that's, that's kind of four. But the kind thing is, then. horny music is more acceptable because it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. I, I feel like a lot of the horny music I, I link is like way less like, I wouldn't say cringe, but like. It's not like in your face about it always. It's kind of like a little sure. bit more tasteful. Yeah, it's it's love making yeah. music. That's what it is. Not even sex anyway, music. Anyway, continuing the tier list. Uh, also in the in tier two, Tay. Uh, Tay will obviously debate this, but no, he he frequently plays Fate Go and Azur Lane. So no, he's he's invalid. He he's also, I'm so glad you're him. calling him out. Like, like, you see yeah. him. I'm so glad you're calling him out because like he will say he's not, but like you're like no, I see through you. Like. No, we are aware. Yeah, we, we, we see, you we know, see, we, I, see. we've been I could, new. I could sort of like give him Fate Go. Like, sure, you can be into Fate Go for the story or what the fuck ever. Um, mm. Azur Lane is the horniest game I have ever fucking seen. You cannot <laughs> deny this. I would say also, the, we had following follow gacha games horny, is like, in and of itself too. a horny activity. It is. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. pay for gacha games, you're immediate tier two. Yeah, and you he have does to be horny on some level to play gacha. Like on yeah. some level. Uh, continuing on, tier three, normal, just normal people, nothing wrong with them. Shah at number, this is number six. Shah, normie taste, but runs a cult for a muscly sports ball guy. So <laughs> that should uh, be, that's interesting. Yeah. And then number seven, Cav, uh, doesn't talk about it much, but it's very cold in Russia and God knows what one must do to keep cold in Russia, but to keep warm. Keep Sorry. Warm. Sorry. Yeah. You don't want to keep cold. Plus he's in prison. So it's like, you know, like. You know. Mm. You know. <laughs> Wait, I, well, wasn't it Shaw that said uh, Cav li lives in prison? Or no, it was that was in one of the episodes where um, it was like was one Cav of question episodes. Yeah, Cav said it about himself. Yeah, yeah so okay, yeah, it no. was one of the Q and A's where Seventeen uh, had his webcam on. It, it literally looked like he was like recording in the middle of, of like an empty room. <laughs> Yeah, Dude, yeah. Like, what the and he's like, hi, I'm just recording from my jail cell. And then next up is Cav. And he's like, hi, I'm recording from my jail country. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was one of the most, that's one of the most solid follow-up jokes. <laughs> I know. That was great. Top 10 podcast moment for sure. All right. And then tier four, but the, the bottom tier, the abstinence gods, the non-hornies. 
So, uh, number eight, Sinris likes Hanakawa a lot, which is kind of an which is kind of horny, but is surprisingly anti horny. He's taken a big anti horny stance. He stands hard as a rock on that, but you know, not not in that way. Are you saying he's hard as a rock? No. Next okay. up, and then finally at the bottom of the list, number nine out of nine, seventeen, because seventeen is below the age of consent in America, and it wouldn't be appropriate <laughs> to talk about him. <laughs> also, he's literally dead. There's nothing less horny than being. <laughs> Well, <laughs> crazy because yeah. I talked to his ghost the other day. Oh, it was crazy. Damn. I don't know. You're okay. A I disagree. Panic, so. That's true. I disagree. Sinners being an abstinence god because his crush used to be Karen from Monogatari, and, and that's oh, like dude. peak horny dude. taste. <laughs> yeah, that is yeah. very. Yeah. Horny, and like actually. I bully him about that on a regular. Wait a minute. Basis. He used to like crush on Karen. Yeah. So we know I, what that means. Whoa! Why would he do that? I didn't. I never. We knew we know why we know why he would do that, Moz, because he's a tier three horny. <laughs> because he likes brushing his teeth. I don't know. Yeah. Who doesn't? Oh, mm. Yeah, we know what this means. Yeah. To be honest, all the scenes of Karen and in, in Monogatari are like horny in some way. So it's like yeah. if you have a crush on that character, the... you're, you're kind of horny on some level. <laughs> like I would make a generalization that everyone or anyone was monogatari is their favorite is like a tier two horny at the very least at least yeah you yeah. have to be horny yeah to some extent yeah i mean extent. yeah that's a really horny show yeah you could argue it's show, the horniest right? show well horny horny is like well, serious show yeah uh maybe fate it's art well fate isn't as horny in the series just i guess <laughs> it's kind of horny it's like whenever I say that, like, Hoseki no Kuni is the best fan art, and then there's, like, a Fate fan that's like, well, Fate has really good fan art. And I'm like, I'm not talking about Dojin's fam. I understand, but, like, I'm not yeah, talking about that. the porn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm laughing because Shaw's, like, roboting hard as hell. No! This is not happening. <laughs> No, like, yeah, I feel that. My mom's just trying to cover it. Like, yeah, but don't act like it's not happening. <laughs> like, yeah, just trying to keep up the conversation and not be awkward. I hate <laughs> you this. Did it. Okay, I was like, I thought, did Mo's like actually understand what she just said? Oh no, I respect no. that. Mo's Thank you, Mo. Mo. Mo speaks robot. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Mo oh, is yeah, the wind true, beneath my wings. Oh my god. Oh my god. I apologize right now because my dad's still vacuuming. He's been vacuuming for twelve. 20 20 minutes now so i've been muting myself as much as possible this is what happens when you're retired man all he does is clean oh my gosh Damn. he needs a hobby what a boomer yeah yeah what a boomer it's, hobby cleaning yeah. <laughs> it's just i mean i clean too but like i i have a specific day of the week i do it or i do it at the end of my thing you know just like all right yeah just i'll put this away and wash my dishes and that's it but him yeah it's right. every day he's cleaning it's great i guess but yeah <laughs> Regarding the tier list, I would like to propose that we move Tay up to tier one. Uh, I think Tay should we, be at least like we gathered tier, some tier evidence to support this case right oh after boy. we posted the tier list. Oh boy! And he has anime he, figures, many, wait, several. Wait, you think Fate are, should be? Uh, wait. Hmm? Are you talking about like lewd anime figures? He has a lot. No, but he just has a lot of them, and several of them are rim. Uh, that is kind of horny, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know Standing what, what kind of figures point. does Tay have. Have we just rems? I, like, I think he just has twenty that... rems. Does he have a bunch of twenty rems? Does he no, have a bunch of all a bunch of sabers? Yeah, sabers. Bunch of sabers. He has a lot of. Sabers. He has a lot of. Yeah, they're like all sabers. Mm. And every he... saber face, he has a saber. And then the one, what's the blonde girl from Love Life? Uh, why do I not? Remember? Ellie. Ellie. Oh yeah. Ellie. She 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 cool. She cool. She cool. Yeah. Pays money for fate, fate, uh, geo, global offensive. Global offensive. And... You say go. Yeah. Like, that's so weird to say. Go. Fate go. <laughs> fate, fate, fate go. Because that's easier to say. It's like we're ordering fate, fate to go somewhere. Like fate, cross the street. Fate, go, Pokemon, fate, go. go to the polls. Yeah. Go, go to I always like to think that. The polls. Yeah. I always like and to he, think that people fate, call go it fate go because of Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yeah. Fate Fate Go, all the other Go games. There's so many Go games. And Gogurt? No. Uh, <laughs> also, he donated $100 to a VTuber. <laughs> okay, that's actually the horniest thing anyone Which has done Which is the here. horniest thing I've ever seen anyone do in public. It's just normal to say, but 
Like, yeah. I don't know if that's horny. Like, I think it's horny. Oh, it absolutely is. Okay, can we can we discuss the VTuber thing right now? Because I remember seeing a tweet from Becker saying he's kind of getting into it. I thought, uh, no, like, I feel like I'm falling into it because I was watching some good uh, uh, karaoke and it was really adorable. Like she was singing Agura Sunday morning great. via like, Agura, it's like five. It was really great, like, actually. VTuber. She's yeah, yeah. Is that the uh, shark one? Of my, one? Yeah. yeah, that's a shark girl, yeah. Shark girl. She's I, cute. I like her. Because I remember I saw a video of her. She was uh, singing Country Roads. And yes. I was like, I was like, this is, this is adorable. Okay, like, I could get into this. All the other this time, is adorable. And also, she's a shark. And that's great. Yeah. Uh, some Sharks of my buddies awesome. have been texting me about that, too. They're like, oh, my newest addiction is VTubers. And for me, like, I wouldn't log into them live. I'll probably yeah. just, like, put them on back. <laughs> like, I wouldn't really go to, like... <laughs> Like a stream of them, I would hey. just check like highlight clips and like I would be content with guys. Them, you know, hang on, horny update. So I posted fate go to horny jail on Twitter, and literally Tay immediately responded with, "That's it, that's the game." Okay. Yeah. So he confirms. He gets it. tier. Yeah. He gets tier zero. Milk. There it is. So he's now top of tier one, or he's <laughs> S tier. Okay, I can we make a new else. rule that if you try to hide your horniness, that immediately makes you a tier <laughs> above you your get, horniness? If you get caught yeah, hiding yeah. your horniness, then yeah, yeah. you get up. So is that why am I tier one? Just because I don't hide it? No, yeah. that's like, yeah, I think you <laughs> not if you hide, hide it, it. If you hide it, you're in tier one. If you don't hide it, you are also in tier one. You were one. also <laughs> in tier one. Yeah. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. No, but if you hide it well, then you don't get caught and you don't get upgraded. So so I have to walk in on someone and they're just cranking it out and I'm just like it's like one. we have we have to Try catch Tay donating <laughs> to <out>. Amelia. <laughs> that was him getting caught. Now he's in tier zero. <laughs> oh my about to get bonked. Tier zero of like, like hiding your horniness, on. therefore you must yeah. be more horny than we expect. I mean here's the thing. We're, 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 we're adults. We're all horny. Okay. Are we though? Ouch. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. It hurts. It hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh, so here, here's something really... I, I've been following this YouTuber called uh, Sumetu Media. It's actually, like, one like the second person I'm Patreoning just because he makes, like, solid, like, meme content and keeps mm -hmm. up to date. He did a video on VTubers, and apparently I learned that the VTubers, they have the N-Nord pass. <laughs> they could just say it. Because they're playing, well, yeah. Because they all play GTA Five, and they all yeah. get that same scene, and they all said it out loud. And I was like, "Oh God!" It's like they all because he sings it. So <laughs> you're, <laughs> like, I saw normal streamers do that too. It's like there's something about it. It's so infectious. <laughs> I know. Just the way he says it, you're like, "Oh yeah, okay." So, I'll, so, but the thing with VTubers, it's it's so genius. And I was talking to my buddy. I was like, "Hey, what if I got into the VTuber game?" He's like, "Well." You had to like hire like someone to engineer your, yourself a new girl and all that stuff. It's actually a lot of work. And when I looked I've into honestly it, looked into it because ah. I'm thinking I could make a rig that's like a skeleton or something. <laughs> I don't even oh. get how it works though. Like how do they do do it? Do you guys know? Uh -huh. uh, they use like a, a like it, it's a combination of like uh, obviously you need some sort of software to make the model and then it it gets animated through like a yeah. face tracking software you or something. Use live 2D, something called live 2D, and you make this model that has like five different mouths and eyes and whatever, and you layer it all in there. And then you use a, a Steam program called Face Rig to track your face, like your eyes opening and closing, mouth and what your movements and of your face, and it adjusts the image according to what you do. Huh. Yep. And the wow. thing is, is that uh, I do um have Face Rig on my computer. I actually downloaded that way back when I was trying to get into like 15 euros. It's <laughs> it's 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 really uh, affordable. But the thing is that next part of the whole designing and engineering your own like uh, yeah. anime character, I'm next like part is making a hundred layer PSD and <laughs> yeah, like I'm pretty sure I could hire someone to do that. But yeah. the price tag on it, it's like I don't know. And then it's that whole thing I told myself is, do I want to succumb to being that on on twitch kind of thing because obviously my voice is going to be the same then again i think that'd be super funny because one guy it was the guy that did uh created yaoi uh not yaoi the guy who created yaoi no 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 the guy who created yandere simulator Mr. Mr. joe yaoi. yaoi yeah the creator of yaoi <laughs> <laughs> the creator of yaoi you know that dude yaoi dev P pioneer yeah the the yandere simulator simulator uh dev he was twitch streaming and everyone's like why are you a oh, he's still making that fucking game right like I think so, dude. Uh, 
He'll be he'll be making it. Give it a rest, buddy. I haven't I haven't kept up with that game ever since it first came out because I thought it was still going to be done. And then when people were making jokes saying he's still working on it, I was like, wait, I thought that thing was done like three years ago. What? (laughs) He hired he like some people offered to work on it for him, and then he got the code back and it was way better. And he just scrapped it and started over on his own. (laughs) What? Oh, the fool! Apparently, his own code is just absolute shit. It runs not at all. That's so sad. Well, but he just he won't let anyone touch his creative vision. Mm. Wow, sounds like a certain podcast episode that has taken eleven months to be made. (laughs) (laughs) Whistles and H six. Do we just call it (laughs) Yandere? Later, the podcast whistles and hentai episodes, and (laughs) I'll have you know, I'm making progress on them. I bought like seven books now. I have yet to oh, read. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, the, some of the books I've been listening to have been have been very interesting. I'm gonna be educated when I walk. I'm gonna be hell educated. It's gonna be fucking poggers, bro. Dude. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I can't I'm wait. Excited for this. It'll be potters. And funny thing about uh, funny thing about that in connection to what we're planning on talking about. I was actually driving in another town uh, the other week. Uh, well, with You're my on the old town road. Wow. Well, it was on the old town road. And and my my girlfriend pointed out saying, "Hey, yeah, see those see those ladies over there." And I look very skimpily dressed, and they're like, "Yeah, those are those are hookers." I'm just like, "All right, are you pointing these out because you're trying to hint at something, or you're just letting me know so I can get away from them?" And she's like, "Are you trying to have a good time? Like, what's the vibe here? Like, why are you telling me this?" She always she always slaps me now. I'm just like, "Ooh, how much?" She's like, "No." I'm like, "Oh." God, that's funny. But but I had to ask her like, wait a minute, it's super cold out. They're wearing skimpy outfits. Aren't aren't they cold? And number two, if they're so out in the open on the main road of the city, why aren't the cops around? Like, they come on, it's the cops are on it. Yeah, exactly. That that that's got to be like the anglerfish. Like that's got to be a sting if they're that out there. And then she's Maybe like, they're well, cops. Yeah. Did you say anglerfish? Because it's that that's in reference to like. Girls and pans are yeah, the yes, sir. Pants. Yes, I figured as much, dude. How do you know me so well, dude? Because I don't know, I talk to you and stuff. You I, I don't really know, like dude. girls and pants. Right? It's an all right show. I mean, it's I, it's I, give okay. it. it's I will right say show. the reveal like, I jumped in, you did a little group watch of it with yeah. me and Spencer. I jumped in like right at the end of the first episode with the big reveal. I was just oh, like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's all on a fucking ship. <laughs> yeah, no, wait, you didn't know that they were on a ship. No, I had no idea. He's and never watched it. Zooming it's out. It's like neat, this whole, this whole big big ass city, ass. and they keep zooming, and it's on a fucking ship. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It zooms out, and they're on a. <laughs> Well, that's why, like, when I first watched this, I was like, I hate this. This is dumb. When I saw that reveal, I was like, I think it's like oh, way more enthusiastic oh, wait, about it. I was a big reveal than I ever was. I was like, oh, they're on a ship. That makes a lot of sense. I, yeah. I didn't think much about it, but Panic's over here, like, what the fuck? This is poggers, dude. Why are so I on this? that ship? Holy oh, shit. I ship it. Ooh. Oh. He, goes, Ooh. <laughs> he ships all the girls. This is great. The uh, ship happens. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of that really cringy song with that uh with the AMV that everyone AMV. linked around when what like back oh, when I, I used to be on that anime, one. right? It was the one with Harhi and Harhi's like shipping. Yeah, it was the one with Harhi with like the code Gios eye yeah. thing. Um, yeah, yeah. The Gios, oh, I love that one. That's, that's so good. Called. That one's good. Uh, yeah, good times. Oh, do you guys have favorite AMVs? Like, Ooh, I do. Oh, oh, dude, I love this. dude. I let love me link AMVs. you right now. Let me link you the first AMV. I want to see, still, I wanna see if mine is still on YouTube because sometimes it will get just taken down. When they get yeah, taken down, and it's like, thank you, Daddy. Hold on, let me see. You. Mine is a Full Metal Panic one. Sweet. And it was like from this one song from this band I've never heard of. Lincoln Park. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably haven't heard of. It's called uh, Lincoln Park, bro. It's called Evanescence. What if we all linked our favorite AMVs and it was all the same song? Just like ah, I doubt anyone's gonna. Rolling in. Yeah, it. <laughs> Moses is the only one who knows who knows this song beforehand. So, uh, well, do we just put this in the secret general? Like, yeah, fuck on. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we put our favorites in secret general and then we can bring them up? Bring them out. Should we make an A and B channel just for? Uh, Okay. Oh, do you guys oh, feel like? Do you guys all like AMVs? I feel like some people just like really don't care about them. So then I never I like, bring them up. I like. Oh, them I, I never really. In an ironic sense, um, like, hey, like this I, I, uh, episode you made, 
I like him because they're so old school. <laughs> Wait, which one? Like the 2009. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I watched anime. a ton of like, really old school ones. Oh, like, I love impressions. that one. I watched, I think, like 100 oh, of them. Oh, I love that. Just to get like that feel for it. Incredible. I just love how old they feel. They're like, well, they're what about like newer ones? <laughs> from a like, what about lost that, time, um... lost age. <laughs> I wish I could link it, but it kind of has like huge spoilers in the thumbnail, and I'm just like, do I? It has it, it's spoilers for like End of Ava in the in the. Oh, I think that the... we've all. Seen I mean, we've that. all seen End of Ava. Yeah. Okay. Wait, have we? Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Who has? Oh, come on. All right. Cool. Shots robotting batting. It says Neon Genesis Evangelion, but it's mostly End of Evangelion footage, so I don't. Oh, well, I don't know what. This is like new. Are Which song is this? Movies? It's it's uh, uh, no, no love. love, cool. Yeah, it's an interesting choice. It, it's like synced to it too. It's really nice. I've loved this for years. My jam. It's fun to edit around music. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite, my favorite AMVs are the ones that I make for the podcast. <laughs> hey. it's Ooh, same. Time. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Time. <laughs> that was really good though. <laughs> that was amazing. That's really good though. Oh my god, I, I found Thank it. You. Oh my god, dude, I found That's my... That's really, uh, really good, though. Dude, this AMV... Wait, what's really good? Wait, well, what is really good? Hold on. Yeah, I'm watching this right now. Dude, oh my god, dude, this AMV, right? Oh my god, from 2008, in glorious 240p. Holy crap. Oh, yes. The dude, lower the... Yes, that's the, the best better. shit ever. Dude. I go out of my way. If I'm listening to a song on YouTube, I will go out of my way to listen to it, like from like a video that was uploaded in like 2008 just for like that like nostalgia kind of thing like that that's old great. old old upload that somehow has yes, been struck down that. And yet, that. even if the sound even if the sound quality isn't the greatest it's like it adds to it you know like damn i feel like i'm really in the like the late 2000s right now dude <laughs> i love this i've never heard of this song oh god this thumbnail is so like an artifact dude i, I love do. this <laughs> And when I watched this, I was like, what anime is this? And then that's why I looked into Full Metal Panic. And I was like, oh. And I watched Full Metal Panic. And I'm like, none of, of the things in 4-3 aspect ratio. Dude, I love old shit. Dude, <laughs> dude this, this song reminds me of like the Sonic X opening. Dude, the, the, this song is, is great. Like, so, for some reason, I was so oblivious to like AMVs. Because I didn't know this was an AMV. I thought this song was going to be in the anime for some reason. I was like, is this in the anime? And it wasn't there. I was like, what the or hell? You were so disappointed when you when it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked up the song. I'm like, oh, okay, here you go. And so now every time I hear this song, I think of Full Metal Panic. And obviously, this was like a band I've never heard of. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, my God. And the topic of AMVs. Uh, back in school, we had like a year of media class. And at the end of it, one girl from the class was like, I made this video to like commemorate the year we were spent together. And she put it on and it's just like an AMV. <laughs> Set to, so I, I don't know what the band was, but it was like clips from Helsing or stuff like that. Oh, great. That it can made only be no the, fucking sense. AMV. Oh, no God. one got it. It was just like, what the fuck the, is that? AMVs, it's like, they give, they have your attention span for like the first minute and then people tune if out. they don't get it even with even maybe if within like the first 30 seconds if they don't get it then it's like bye-bye you know kind of thing like i ain't watching that right right and and that that's my problem like when i think it was 2018 what, no 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 it was 2019 sakura con where like there was a amv contest and the, then then you guys no, then all me and my buddies. Damn it, he's still vacuuming. Dude, it's been an hour. Just, dude, the floor is clean. Dude, stop sucking. Dude. When you nut, when you nut and they keep sucking. <laughs> like, dude. Oh, I, I don't know that feeling, honestly. Oh, it's a, um, it's a, it's, it's a meme. I know. It's just because of the face they show it. You're like, oh. <laughs> <That's> oh. The... <laughs> so, um, so I was at the convention I went to, they were having an A and B contest, and they had like five or six categories with five videos each it, let's just put the math to that if each video we assume is five minutes i mean that's like that's like an hour of like a solid like amv content it's like geez so the categories that were the most that, that were just so boring were like the um the romance category the thrilling category and a lot of it was just like hardcore like 
metal or the alternative rock metal kind of thing set to black and white scenes of like oh god that just sounds amazing it was like, like, like um, well, what's that night what's that what's that crazy uh mary nikki like two of them were oh. from mary nikki and i was like you're so you're so cool like oh my god it's so gritty and this girl is gonna kill anyone to have you everyone stays for the comedy portion of, and they save that for last because they know that's what people want to see they want to see the like i ship it and, it, it, and people it's kind of like the it, i i don't know not to cut you off but it almost seems like comedy is the easiest thing to get right with like amvs it's mm-hmm. kind of hard yeah. to convey other emotions it's like inherently it's ironic because right yeah it's a lot easier to be like yeah it's easier to be ironic because anime is more like there's always just so much uh it's easier to get scenes that are just so chaotic and crazy or out and, of context or whatever right oh, like anime context. that tries to be really serious has a it's very easy for it to go over the top and just become silly. Can I, right. can I also say, um, I was listening to, I was watching uh, what is my favorite AMV, which is, of course, a Mirai Nikki AMV. Oh, oh. how dare you. And, um, oh, I feel like I've seen this one, and so, I think so, it's good. I like this channel a lot. Oh, God. It's... Do the, the thumbnail. <laughs> I love the thumbnail. Someday I'll watch Mirai Nikki. I feel like it's. You guys like wanted to make a make like an AMV. Like I'm thinking right now, I really want to. I know exactly Uh, what I would. I I know what I want to do. I want to hear what you want to do, Moe's. I would make an AMV, a re zero AMV to the Jack White song over and over and over. Oh my god! Yes, because the lyrics for that song like work so Mm -hmm. perfectly for re zero. I I would make an Aria music video or uh, AMV to Lonely Islands. I'm on a boat. <laughs> nice. Surely Need that already for exists, years, right? Dude, it for must. Year. <laughs> Need that. that must. I, I'm surprised I've never seen it. Like no one's ever done it before. Like huh. I've looked up like Aria AMVs, and like the most popular one is like that one song, "I Dare You to Move," and I'm like, okay, cool. I feel like you could do so much more of this anime and and, and music videos. Wait, wait. But... So are we? Are we? Since we're most of us are have experience in editing, are we going to hold an AMV contest between us? Ooh, I kind of like that. That would be yeah. fun. I, I've I would have to. Oh my Dude. god! I'd have to think of something really oh, good. I've made one AMV and it's very offensive. I'll send it to you guys at one point. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, is it? The- I love yes. that. Oh, I think I can find it. Okay, this stays between us. Bro, is it so set to a Nirvana song? <laughs> Dude, it's it's funny. It's it's, it's so fucking. It's funny. Bad. it's bad. I can it's already so picture bad, it, but I can't help but laugh at it. Oh my uh, god! Keep talking because I'm gonna search for it. You know? Shit. Now I'm thinking uh, Bones by Misfits and some Overlord <laughs> and Overlord AMV set to oh. a skeleton song. <laughs> mm. uh, but I don't like, think... Like, I worked on this for like so hard and then I submitted it to my AMV contest at my local con and they're like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yeah, I remember you telling me that they're just like, you know what, no. <laughs> Plus I have... I forget why. It was something with Baker, you were asking about an old version of Movie Maker or something, and I found out yeah, how to get okay. it. I was trying to so find I an old version it. of Movie Maker. I have it's still Windows here. Maker. No, it's got a thousand views. Holy crap! I didn't. I've checked in years. It's got a thousand. <laughs> Hold on. Birthday you... panic. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, uh, I was just saying. I have like 2004 Windows Movie Maker. I would make it in that. Absolutely, I would have to. <laughs> I was really pissed that I couldn't find like a actual like. I wouldn't say legal because I don't really. Care. Um, I would say like a ver- a stable version of Windows Movie Maker online to yeah. download. It was really difficult. It's like you had to find. I had to go find some weird support software packet for yeah, like, people who like haven't upgraded kind of their thing. system like... in a hundred years. Then you install all of it and then delete everything. But so it's like two th- thousand four, like Word and Outlook and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's like MSN like it's Messenger. Way too much to get one thing, right? Like, All this shit that doesn't so, exist anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I so I did my best to like imitate Windows Movie Maker in yeah. Vegas, and I think I did a pretty good job actually. Um, we did. Oh, that's a good. Oh, in good jest, that's the best username I've ever fucking seen. That's Tay's girlfriend. I'm aware, but like, <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah. Eh? Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm so I'm gonna like so, this image because it's fucking funny. God, I love this. Yo, send what this to me. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I love that it's Mashu bonking. Yo, that's 
there's there's levels to this. There's layers. Okay, so this stays within the crew. I found it because and I made it under a different YouTube name. <laughs> oh, Bacon just doesn't want to get canceled. That's all. Is it, is it time for someone on the pod to get canceled? Dude, I've been oh, trying who, so hard. Wait, who would be the to first be... person to get canceled on the pod? Oh, me. Absolutely me. me. I, I would assume <laughs> probably me, but I wouldn't really care. Man. <laughs> Bacon just be like, sure. Sure. <laughs> cool. Like, honestly, it's He'll like, okay. To get and then he canceled. would go back to doing everything he was already doing. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what are you going to do to me? Take away my scholarship? <laughs> <laughs> what scholarship? Exactly. Okay, so watch this on your own time. <laughs> up to you, but I'll tell you right now, I am very proud of this. This is like a solid month of working on iMovie. <laughs> like, a solid month of working. And then when uh, half my crew was like, this is hilarious. I love this. And then that one person in my crew was like, no, we cannot post this. I'm like, I know, but hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but hear me out. Hear what me if out. we did? What if we did? <laughs> Honestly, if I were to set off, if I were to set off an atom bomb in my own channel, I would post this video and just disappear from the world and live my life. Honestly, I would just leave. Like later. <laughs> wow, this is the funniest shit. I love this music video. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. I hate it because it's so what bad. Like I like it because it's just so bad. But it like it works ridiculously. Oh, it's from. <laughs> That's why I haven't seen this before. You don't this. Wait, are you familiar with? <gasps> Uh, no. Well, people hate it. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, well, that's it, even it, I, Okay, it what? makes a lot more sense if you've seen it. Yeah, I don't know these characters at all. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if I should spoil something for you. Uh, go ahead. I'm not going to watch it. Okay, no, so no, no, this... no, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, you just, just watch the music video, bro. Like, you'll get it. I did. You'll, I did. We'll, it. we'll keep it out watching the music video because I don't know what the audience is going to hear some of this in the big eye music. Immediately, I you'll get it. <laughs> I I try it out. Four minutes long. <laughs> oh my god! I, I used the whole song. <laughs> oh, I, I really love this name. Love that's it's quite a name. <laughs> I, loved, I was I was trying to think of a way like. Shh, <laughs> don't you guys are spoiling everything. Shh. Oh, god, that's so funny. We gotta mute this. We I've gotta mute the, the username. Whoever. Oh my god. Censor with the no. censor with the like dolphin noises. Yes. Please, can someone please? Yes, Central Shaw, Darkness please. Noises. Just the, the name of the anime and the name of the YouTube channel, just bleep it from this recording, please. I had a feeling I knew where this was uh, going, but it's still funny. I mean, as soon as you saw <laughs> and I'll make love to you, it's like, well, yeah, you, you kind of know the vibes. Oh, yeah, as soon as I heard <laughs> and offensive, I'm like, I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. And then making love and more iconic duo. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe maybe in this day and age it might be funnier, but I'm just trying to I'm kind of walking on. With like Andy Susan. <gasps> the, wait, so no, so who are the characters? Tell me. Right there. <laughs> These are the characters introduced in season two. <laughs> just, Fuck just... that final oh, shot. Is that also from Star Trek <laughs> Online too? No, no, that. that's from that, that's from Drawn Together. <laughs> wait, oh can God. we just say Panic when Panic just said, where are the characters? And Bacon said, right there. <laughs> no, not where. I said, who? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> who are the characters? I don't know <laughs> those guys. Just said, there. That's right there. there. Right, right there. there. Just watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will say this. So this song I did use is like one of my all-time favorite songs that will be playing at some point during a very special event. Megan, I hate that you've degraded such a great R&B song with this shit, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, it's great. Like, it's so think, fucking funny. I don't even think we need to do the contest. Bacon just won. Dude, thank yeah, you. Bacon, no Dude, one never... big brain strats I won five years ago. <laughs> it's cool. <dude. laughs> I'm studying I mean, the blade. I was studying the blade five years ago. So yeah, it's uh... <laughs> There's the Dwayne Rock Johnson <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. That final shot is that's what sends it to, over the that's like it's too much. <laughs> Can't put that in there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, man, dude, like my, my humor is pretty gets pretty dark. Um and I've kind of infected <laughs> yeah, my crew. Uh, it's like that meme is like a kid is like, yeah, I have a pretty dark sense of humor. Racism. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Well, it's not racism isn't funny, but racist jokes, though. <laughs> Just let's talk <Yeah>. about it. <laughs> racism. 
Dude, now yeah. Megan's gonna be canceled. Like, finally, <laughs> got you. It's a trap. Damn it! Oh yeah, I haven't thought about this video in so long. I need to post this to my crew and oh my <laughs> just God. Remind, remind them that this exists. I'm wondering if I should just cut all this out because it's like no one's gonna see it. So <laughs> bad. In all honesty, you do need to come with this. I'll <laughs> I'll bleep I'll bleep some names. We can add this to our just Patreon bleep the exclusive. entire section. Just have a long. Patreon oh, yeah. exclusive. Mm. Whenever we get a Patreon up and running. Wait, we have a Patreon? No, we don't. No. Oh, Not yet. Oh, oh, like, my bad. We should start a GoFundMe just for like this section right here. Like, we'll be like the next Jack is boy. Like, except we're not getting a PS5. <laughs> Give us twenty five bucks, and you too can see this AMV. We were talking about that before the stream, and Jack is boy did actually get twenty five bucks from Isla. Nice. Matthews. Did someone well, ask if him. he actually has a PS5? God. He said he. Chat. He said he got bug snacks for PC. What? Oh. <laughs> Damn, I didn't. Fuck. Was... Wait, is it even on PC? No, it's not. I, I'm pretty sure that's the joke. Oh. <laughs> he's he's a hard one to read. Wait, kind of a. Wait, goat, is that though. the game that uh, Caro Benito made? Caro Caro Benito, yeah. Yeah. I never listened to that song. Actually, it's all right. Talking about bug snacks. Oh, you should see I um, a good bag for that song. <laughs> the best thing Caro Caro Benito did this year is that they did like they, they posted a video that says it's like a live video and it's like a like a fake live video where they're just like at their homes doing like playing their songs. Except like there's a part uh so you know the song only acting. Um yeah. there when they get to uh the chorus of that song, like it cuts out to like the actual audio of the stream and it's just like totally shitty and like not actually what you're hearing in the song it's, it's it's hard to explain it you just like have to listen to it for yourself but anyway the reason why i brought this up is because mm. there's a they play the bug snacks song and then and sarah's like oh whoa it's bug snacks over and over again and it's really funny <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty popular nice oh you know what that reminds me i was thinking about asking this anyway for the for the for the recording but does anyone have like favorite music that's come out this year so far? I have a lot. Uh, all of all of Gorilla's uh, Song Machine first album has been amazing. That's been the music. That's been the soundtrack to my life right now. I, I have haven't. Cosine. I don't exactly <laughs> follow like releases. <laughs> this is the only time I've ever followed a release ever. Because I was just like, oh, Gorillaz has new music. Cool. When I listened to their first track, and I was like, all right, this is gonna be fire. This is this is great. And then that's it. That's so it. I actually, yeah. I've never listened to the Gorillaz's album. Gorillaz, whatever their Gorillaz albums before. Is... <laughs> I haven't. I've never listened to their actual albums before. Um, and I so I've started doing that recently because I want to get mm. like all the relevant 2020 stuff, or at least most of it. So I'm like, oh, I gotta listen to the new Gorillaz, right? Um, so yeah, so I listened to Plastic Beach for the first time yesterday. That's oh, pretty Plastic, dope. Plastic, Plastic, Plastic Beach is pretty good. Yeah, I like Plastic right. Beach. And Demon Days is obviously my all-time favorite. I think yeah. now Song Machine right now I think is going to be on top of Demon Days. It's close because oh god, yeah. it's so, it's yeah, so both good. are pretty good. I like their first album too. I think it's just called Gorillas. Mm. Just just Gorillas. I don't know which Gorillas <laughs> album would be my favorite. I just I like like a couple songs off of each. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think as a package, Demon Days is my favorite album. Dude, ah. I have so many Demon Days related anime merch. <laughs> I have the Yu Hakusho one. Oh, says, I love that one. Yeah. Like the t-shirt with the, the album. One. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I got the one with the part four JoJo's there. It just said oh, JoJo awesome. Days. Oh, I love that. JoJo yeah. Days. Yeah, I was like, nice. If, I, if you guys don't know, I love the Demon Days album. I stand. But that's all I listened to this year was just gorillas and in terms of actual music that's being released, like I don't know, I don't uh WAP was was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck WAP? yeah, WAP. <laughs> yeah, WAP is <laughs> okay. Like hot take, but like that's that was an okay song. I, I mean I just I just watched it. From a Megan fan. Like, Can't even I thought remember it was if I heard it. I was must have. With it. It's pretty, okay. pretty heard horny. It just once, I think. Yeah, it's, it's pretty horny, I guess. Yeah. It's a pretty horny that song. That song is just like like in your face horny. Like, yeah. like, oh, look, booty, oh, look, titties. And it's like, oh, yeah, look, every, every music was... video ever. Yeah, ooh, juicy. 
I said, my... oh, that's what we should call these, the Weekly Ass Podcast. <laughs> weekly Ass Podcast. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. That's a good name. <laughs> Gross. I, okay, I'm like really into this idea, actually. Like just calling the... That's this... actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> for the last for the last couple of years, I've I have a friend on my enemy list, and he he posts like like his top like he posts his list of uh, favorite music, and I started doing this with him for the last couple of years. So uh, so now I'm like getting ready to do, I getting ready to do that. I'm gonna make my own uh, list, and I've like this is this has been so far the year where I've kept up with the most stuff out of uh, any other year. But uh, the main, my main thing, my number one right now is the new Bring Me the Horizon, which is just a 30 yeah, minute EP that's just fucking awesome. And everything about it is the best thing ever. I think it was produced by Mick Gordon, right? Yes. The Doom, the Doom guy. So the Doom, I'm interested. The guy who made the Doom soundtrack. Yes. Which Whoa. is probably my favorite album of the year is the Doom Eternal soundtrack. I fucking love that guy. Oh my God. I still <laughs> just, have, I still just have straight into my veins. Just get those guitars straight into my veins. It's so <laughs> chuggy and nice. I love I've it. I've yet to, to play Doom. So I think I got to check that out. I've point. yet to beat it. Like I got it day one, played it two times and i was like this is too hard <laughs> here's a weird thing with me if the graphics are too good and too crazy and there's too much crap going on i start to get a headache oh yeah same oh. like that's just part of being old it's like i can play i used to game all day every day and i was like a couple hours a time because my oh, wrist starts hurting and my eyes get tired dude because <laughs> i'm old so a new thing i do now is that when i watch anime i prop my monitor on top of my tower and i stretch while i watch anime Oh my god. Because dude, if, if I sit too long, dude, my right hip locks up and then it starts to hurt. Oh so I literally god. do yoga while I watch anime. And I'm like, man, this is this is officially old stuff, man. But it's for the benefit yeah. of like the long term, because like sitting for too long is is bad for you. Oh my god. I also never watch like many episodes at a time because I I need to <laughs> I can't just sit in one position. It's true, man. It's you need to move around, great. you know, keep it moving. <sighs> Like when yeah. I paint, I'm just like all crouched over. I stretch after an hour, I'm just dying. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, dude, you got hobbies that that forces you to sit down. Not only do you have a stand up desk, dude, I have that's to sit zero. like a fucking idiot. Yeah, you several <laughs> hours. <laughs> you paint. You uh, what's that other thing? Uh, you got your war hammer. That's rough, dude. Well, like building it and painting it, same position, just sitting like an asshole, <laughs> breaking dude, my own back. That's rough, man. But that's yeah, dude. Er ergonomics is important. There's a reason why I got that 2B mouse pad. It's because my wrist. But then I stopped. Well, I have a titty mouse pad, and it kind of sucks. Yeah, it honestly, kind of sucks. I, I bought like a beanbag, uh, wrist wrist rest. Same yeah, one that one of my. One. It's the same one that one of my tech tubers uses, and I have a, I have a upstanding uh mouse. It's the Logitech one where it's yes. It's like where vertical it's like a, mouse mice. It's a vertical mouse mice. Yeah, the, that shit. Yeah, I think like my future setup in terms of PC is gonna be all ergonomic, like standing. I go to the old, <laughs> the old part of the, of the podcast. Yeah, the old people. We've entered like, our final arc. We're all, all just getting... all these young people are just like I can't relate to this. I'm immortal. Like you're not. <laughs> you're not immortal. Sugimoto. Immortal. I don't know who that is. <laughs> From a uh, uh, golden camoy. Oh. I've yet to watch that. My buddy's watching that actually. Yeah. Oh yeah. Going way back to it. Rent a girlfriend. That's all right. Oh, oh yeah. Rent a girlfriend. Rent a girlfriend. That's where we came. Come full circle. Explain to me what rent a girlfriend is. Like I still don't really know what it is actually. It's about a guy who gets dumped from his girl, his first girlfriend, and he, and here's one of my criticisms for this show. Um, the whole oh ha ha we're virgins together you'll never get laid you constantly masturbate i am very sick of that very quickly very juvenile <laughs> like oh, oh yeah. and like you know this end of the first episode his buddy greets him hey what's going on man how many times did you masturbate last night and it's, i don't i never say that to becker or anyone else i know that's are you hey, sure bro? are you no. sure i feel like we've had that at, on one of the episodes i no. feel like we've been there no Okay. No, Bacon and I never talk about masturbating, like, ever. Yeah, honestly. We, we've never yes. talked it. We're gentlemen. We talk about the content, not the act. We talk about the contents, yeah. not, like, the actual act. And that's the thing. The main, <laughs> the main character, One at one point in, like, episode two or three, the main character is, like, sitting at, in his, like, apartment, 
He's and then he, his dick. Well, yeah, he's getting ready to, so he starts thinking. Okay. And I'm like, okay, what, game. what? Yeah, what caveman just sits there and reaches deep into his mind and he starts thinking about his ex and his ex doing lewd stuff, like wearing like skimpy outfits, and then he like, grabs a tissue. And I'm like, I don't need to see that. Like, I get it. Okay, he's he's alone. I don't need to see all these tissue. Yeah, that's There's quote unquote t- realistic, I guess. <laughs> It's for realistic. someone, I'm guessing. I, I'm like, okay, cool. I don't know. It's a bit too much. I get it. This is a wrong. How long does this like scene last? Like, it's, it's like two, two episodes. episodes. <laughs> two episodes. It's like two whole episodes. Two full episodes. Just episodes jerking yeah. it? Dude. Oh, ew. That's, that's called edging, my dude. Like, that's kind of impressive. I'm not gonna lie. For, for like I don't two know. whole episodes. This series is. There are some moments I'm just like, oh, not bad. But I, I'm mainly watching it just for like the character designs, which is like the very last thing. The girls are very cute. They are very cute. Like the girl with the bow. Like the I like guy, that. the main guy dresses like an asshole. I hate his fashion so much. <laughs> oh, the yeah. like, you're a blazer. He, he just yeah, keeps he getting worse and worse. Dad. This is like, why he has no girlfriends. Like no legitimate girlfriends. And his he dresses is like shit. I don't know, man. Like my style's been weird. Then again, cargo shorts, S tier. Anyway, <laughs> like the the show itself is. It's 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 an anime. Like, so like, wait, why does what? Can I ask like, why does he rent a girlfriend? Like, he's lonely. He was lonely, legit. That that's it. Okay. Yeah. He just wanted someone to spend time with. I feel like he girlfriend. could put his funds into like maybe hobbies or just other things that can make him like a more interesting. Like, person. But he's so lonely. I need a girl. Like every guy in here is just like, I need a girlfriend. I'm so jealous. Like, okay, the second like you get a girlfriend, a what do you do after that? Though. Like. But that's how, like, he's, like, not alone. Like, a lot of, these, kind of, a lot of these romance MCs kind of prey on, like, how pathetic people can be, you know? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, yeah, beep, yeah. Beep. yeah. I get it. How feel human. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. I'm sorry, Sean. I'm sorry, Sean. You're kind of just, like, cutting out. <laughs> we, yeah. we can't, Sean. I'm so sorry. I'm going to take the L. Wait, can you... <laughs> so, it's, but the, the series itself, it's like... Become yeah. human. Yeah. There you are. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That worked. Philadelphia, become human. <laughs> <laughs> that actually human. worked. You said become human and it came out clear. And I was like, oh, it actually kind of worked. That's pretty oh, crazy. Oh, no. Now Dude. you're dying again. Now you're dying. Shaw, oh. Become human again, please. Do it. <laughs> I feel become like you're, human. I feel like you're referencing Halo. Because <laughs> in Halo, there's a term they say called be human. I've never heard more pain in Shaw's voice than now. It's oh, like, help dying. me, please. Oh. I felt just like... We need to have everyone to get. I just want to be a real boy. <laughs> this is not the rumble of scientific triumph. Oh my god! The 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 anime itself is. You know, there's some moments, but Wait, is it just me or was like Reddit girlfriend like big on like Reddit? Or yeah, anime, I don't know. Right? It was, but I don't know if Why? did they like it or is Probably. everybody they like it ironically or unironically? I don't think so. I think they just liked it because it was like a trash, like a garbage fire. I guess. I mean, they what, think like MC was like a man of culture or like was our guy like the in neck? slashes. Probably if if they liked it, it was probably because of the our guy kind of thing. I bet they oh, yeah. treated it like like the next Pedro Manga Sensei. We're like, oh ho oh, oh, ho, this is so trashy, but I'm going Oh yeah, or domestic yeah. girlfriend, I guess. And yeah. our our Aramanga sensei could have totally just been like thrown by the wayside for years, but like Gigak just had to be like, yo, I'm gonna make this my whole identity for a few years. And then it's still like kept going, kind of thing. Like, uh, imagine how it could have been happened. easily forgotten, but like it got meme magic is real. Like, it's like the Donald Trump of anime. Like, no one expected this, but like that, it got that, memed into like fruition. Dude, of that's a very interesting. So, here's a random idea I kind of wanted to do, and because I wanted to contact Sumetsu Media because he's big on anime, but he does like meme videos. I wanted to do an episode where we discuss the power of anime type memes on how it could push. One anime to be watched by everyone. Oh, you mean Cause, yeah, cause that's, that's a good time. Yeah, yeah. Because like, down. I remember I saw love, I saw love life, I saw love life memes, and I was just like, "Who's this character?" Then you look, oh, it's this girl that her name is Nico, and then like, what's love life? And all of a sudden, my friends like, you should watch love life. And now I'm four thousand dollars in debt, and I'm like, okay, I don't know how I got here. <laughs> Are you okay, Bacon? Do you just... need money? <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, there's a reason why I'm struggling. Oh, no, I, dude. I picked up fake global offensive. And it really is how, how things are proliferated in this day and age. It's memes. Like you see memes of a thing and then you get into it. 
Right. And so that's that's my so that's my question. Is this like how no. so yeah, for me like, that was fate. It's like I only I saw fate memes for years and then I finally watched fate. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, these are great memes. Must be if a great I, joke. If I, if I pulled some strings and get in contact with them, would you guys be down for a meme analysis slash anime episode and like how a meme review? Literally, a literally meme review. Yeah, yeah. And that's what he does. Is no, Smith Media literally does meme reviews. Like, he's and so I'm cool. I'm even Scandinavian. It's perfect. Wait, what's that have to do with anything? Wait, what? PewDiePie does meme reviews. Oh, and he's Swedish. Okay, I haven't kept up with PewDiePie. Yeah, but you're Danish. That's different. That's kind of the same. It's mostly the same. <laughs> it's kind of the same. Just like, I didn't know. want to be the one to say, "Yeah, those countries are all the same." But like, you know, yeah, those countries are all. The same. If it's from you, then I'll, I'll take. I'll take. Your well, we also <laughs> feud. Denmark and Sweden feud, but like for fun. Yeah, just, they have Legos. Just because we, just because we fought a hundred wars. His last video that he released was his him talking about his My Anime list, and he had some solid things in there. He put Prison School at a ten out of ten. And nice, so, yes, good. So he he's that kind of guy, man. He, uh, dude, is he our guy? He's like, like, our guy, dude. He's our guy. And he sang the One Piece rap opening, so he's a uh, of course good dude. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo. And, and I actually, I've been bombarding. He does that thing where he like he likes every comment and likes every Twitter post. That someone comments on him on. So from ever since he did the anime thing, I just been messaging him. You should watch Girls in Panzer, and he still likes it. And I'm like, yes, implanted. But he knows what someday, it is. someday oh, we'll dude. get it. He's gonna watch someday it. in 20 years. We'll get it. He, he's gonna watch it, this. and he's gonna be like, dude, dude, this is actually pretty good. And I'm like, yes, I love it. No, yes. yes. Like I, I'm a patron of his, and so I could probably like mention Big Yellow too, dude. So anime and memes, let's talk because like that's Yeah, yeah. So it's so, a solid, solid channel. You know, he, he's doing pretty good. I mean, his, his channel started to blow up because um, he actually got a shout out from like internet historian, and then from there on out, they started collabing a lot. Oh, sick! And then people are just like, and the memes are great because they're like. Man, Smetta Media is doing great. He's so he's so nice to other smaller YouTubers by inviting Internet Historian onto his podcast. And I'm like, oh, that's that's, Damn. Pretty, good. that's pretty good. Fuck, can we get Internet Historian? I love that guy. Oh, I love that guy too. Such a such a good voice. Yeah, he's got. He was born to narrate. Have you guys seen his latest in the field video about mythology? No. He does an anime opening Nord VPN ad. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Like he I'm, does have the best ad reads. Of all dude, time. <laughs> the Nord VPN is so good. Just hello, it's me. And, the, and I think he great, hired, it's Shadow Man. Shadow great Man. Shadow Man. Yeah. He's great. <laughs> Shadow Legends. Now it's, it's Shadow totally Legends. free MVP RPG ADHD NLL. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is this? He um. I think he hired a legit anime voice actor too to voice his NordVPN ad for his anime. I'm gonna find it right now. Dude, the guy, the guy's content is just like so out there. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how anyone's gonna do better than him. Like, there's, I wouldn't say there's no channel like him, but it's just he just has a way with just like making it so like random. He basically does animated podcasts as well. Because his in the fields, he's just talking with people about random subjects, but they animate it. And right. I'm not sure if we have the time to do that here, where we just get cardboard cutouts of ourselves moving as we're talking. If you guys want to go that far, how but, much does it cost to get a cardboard cutout of yourself, like made? Or, or a fat yeah. head? I don't know. Not a fat head, but like a cardboard cutout that you can like prop up. You know, I mean, like a real thing in real life. Yes, yeah, like a real cardboard cutout kind of thing. It, it oh. shouldn't cost much because I remember, I remember there's this one. Um, college basketball game i think it was at like duke and like you know how like they try to mess you up while you're shooting the free throw like ah boo. one time this guy he made a cardboard cutout blow up of his own face i'll see if i can find the face <laughs> and it's him like frowning really hard oh i've seen that yeah and then like some people started missing their free throws and they're like it's working it's working and his face is so funny let me see if i can college that's face that amazing Free throw guy. Yep, found it. Yep, <laughs> dude. <it's laughs> oh, dude, I'll be honest. If I was shooting free throws, I'd miss so hard. I'm like, what the? 
<laughs> it's this face right here. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty genius. This all cross-eyed, big frowny mouth. Yes. There we go. Do that guy. <laughs> That's incredible. And he's also doing the face underneath. <laughs> just, letting, just letting you know, this is how I look. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, so so imagine if we all had faces like a blow blow of faces of ourselves and then we use that to record a podcast like internet historian. It's just I don't know. All the ideas I'm throwing out there at this point. I'm just just throwing crap out there. Does anyone here play Yu-Gi-Oh? No. No, okay. but I am watching Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. Oh, God. Wait, how far I, are you? Uh, I'm 25 episodes in, I believe. Oh, God, Yu-Gi somehow dueling has drained all my strength. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my buddies have been trying to get me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And so I did. I looked up some deck profiles. And I'm like, okay, I could probably rebuild this deck. And I'm what is that one? Like I've seen so many Kaiba memes lately. Oh, he's just like an absolute badass. Like he stops the like the scene that was cut where he stops the hammer of a gun with a car. <laughs> Every time I see oh, Kaiba yeah. now, it's just his face on a PS5. That's literally that's all I see of <laughs> Oh Kaiba. yeah, yeah, yeah. The pop yeah, yeah. colors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it looks so good. Like I'm like, damn, did they really just design the PS5 after Kaiba? Like of, of all people. Of all people, Mother's Basement actually had a really great like take on that. Like he actually like it looked like he like disassembled a Kaiba figure and like put it on his PS5 because he has one. Let me really see if I can find it. It was like actually it was like, oh, this is actually really funny. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, dude, no, Ka Kaiba's no. Kaiba's the greatest dude. I was thinking of some kind of a compilation of lines, and one of them killed me. It was like you're As the president grade. of a major corporation, I crush souls every day. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> something about him never understanding the burden of killing people or whatever, and he's just like, oh. "That's the president of a major corporation." <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually pretty good. That's a big. I brain. crush yeah. people's hearts every day. <laughs> no, his best line of all time is, "You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck," <laughs> and it's like, "Oh, the guy it hurts." As oh a shit! <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a good insult. I'm like, man. This this series, dude. Yeah, I follow him. Uh, so on Twitter, there's a there's a Twitter third rate anti tuber with a fourth rate podcast. Oh, no! I remember that's how I described Bakugo in in my hero. You're a third rate hero with a fourth rate cork. <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy crap! That is pretty. Oh, nice. <laughs> that is a, that's a tweet. I feel like I saw that and just assumed it was a Photoshop. I didn't know that was that was. It uh, could be a Photoshop. I don't know. It's still solid though. I like the necklace. That's a nice touch. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> if that's Photoshop, that's really well done. I think it must be. It's still, pretty I can good. tell by the pixels and that from having impressive. seen quite a few shops in. My it looks day. like a Photoshop. Yeah, dude, that's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's well made. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wait, it is a Photoshop. Now that I see it up close, I can like see the the outline. Yeah, yeah right. Like, you see the white line around yeah. the head. But they got wow, the uh, they got I'm the necklace dumb. on there, so like that makes it look real. The, the color lighting, it's solid. like the light source is in the same spot. That's always key. The lights. Well, we got the Photoshop expert over here. Yeah, dude, the, have you seen a picture of that shadow ball? Like, you see a ball, and it's like, here's what makes artists go mad, and it's just a shadow on the opposite side of the light source, and everyone's like, ah. <laughs> Why no? Wait, wait, I don't. I haven't seen this. This sounds funny. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I can picture it, and it's driving me insane already. <laughs> shadow ball art. Me. Raid shadow ball. Raid shadow, Raid shadow ball. ball. Damn! Oh darn it! It's got me Pokemon memes because shadow ball. Uh, I'm shadow... literally playing Pokemon Showdown, and I'm fighting a Cursula who used shadow ball on me as we were oh, talking about shadow ye, ball. Ye best That's so cute, folks. Shadow misplacement. Uh, art meme. Oh, I'm never gonna find this one. Oh god. Okay. Uh, plowing ahead. My, my my point in all this is that I was looking at some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I'm still looking at some right now. I'm kind of rebuilding, trying to copy a deck profile. And dude, some of these cards are super cheap. Like yeah, fifty cents, thirty cents. Cool. Yeah, I could do that. I need three of those. And then the ones I need three of are like $40 each. And I'm like, okay, I need three of those. 
Okay, that, that's 120 bucks worth of cards since we three of them. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to get into this again. But then I remembered me losing so many times against my friends in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm like, I think I do want to get back into this. I, I need to get my revenge. I need to get my revenge after all these, after all these years. Dude, no, it gets wild in Yu-Gi-Oh! Can't let them man. get away with this. Dude, it's, it's literally how would you think in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like, if you have the most money, you're, you're going you're gonna to win. That's just you're how gonna it win because you're just going to construct a better deck. That's how it is. Yeah. At that point's all luck, whether or not your opponent is like prepared for what you're going to do and stuff like that. The draw and strats, I guess. Well, there's some strats now that I'm like watching. I'm like, okay, I kind of understand this, but this is like a lot more complicated than what I was used to back then. Because I got back into it like in 2014, 2015, and then I stopped. And then the game changed a few more times. And then now at the point where I'm at now, it's just like, dude. Like, it's, they have another archetype, and it's just like, oh, like, the, all the rules changed to where, like, my deck was obsolete, and I was like, oh, great, great. Awesome, <laughs> no. yeah, great. Yeah, they, they want us to spend more money. I, well, I, think me my fr- I think me and my friends are trying to look for a new addiction, and I don't like that, because we were get talking. To, get into Warhammer, you can spend unlimited money. No. Just play Space Marines, they always win. They're too strong. You know... Real talk, I've never like met people who are like actually into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like it 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 almost surprises me to hear people like actually play Yu-Gi-Oh. Because when when I was a kid and Yu-Gi-Oh was at its peak, playing Yu-Gi-Oh meant you know, you like like we would all have cards, but no one would fucking read them because it was all paragraphs and we're just like fuck this bullshit. Dude, yeah, Uh, it was so 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 playing Yu-Gi-Oh meant we're going to like use the attack and defense stats and just play a numbers game. That's what it was. Yeah. That's really? on, yeah. yeah. That's exactly how it was in my school too, but with Pokemon, people just collect Pokemon cards. If you had a cherry sword, you just won. <laughs> do you guys remember, do they still, mm-hmm. I don't know if they, they still do, but I remember when I was a kid, like Yu-Gi-Oh was like a huge thing. You would get like the little like deck, uh, like field kind of packet like it's a foldable field pack yeah thing. yeah and I have there were like those. specific like yeah. there's like little spots on it where you play specific types of cards and i remember people never fucking followed that shit yeah i still it's have that i still Mostly... have that and it's under my bed laminated <laughs> <laughs> i kept it yeah my, my parents were like let's just throw it away and i'm like no 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 that's hard to no, 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 touch that no, that's <laughs> that's literally money. <laughs> well, like I'm not sure it's worth anything, but like on one side, yeah, it's the Pokemon field. But if you flip the other side, it shows all 150 cards, or shows like it shows like what is this, first... Pokemon? Jesus! No, 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 no. It shows like um, no, no. This is Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, my mind jumped. No, okay. It, it, either damn. way, it's like it I was showed like... a joke, but damn, I didn't realize I was correct. <laughs> I was like, oh, it is. It is Pokemon, and I, I'll find it. Oh I got to you guys. Get I got... your get your fads correct. What are and you call yourself a nerd? I'm not a nerd, bro. You're kind of a normie. I don't. I don't know. That's kind of cringe. That's kind bro. of a normie thing of you. Know, look at me. <laughs> look at me. I have a job. I have responsibilities. I wasn't you have a yet. job? Wait, I'm not... Jesus. Well, today, right now, they're announcing another shutdown in my in my state. I mean, they probably should. Your your state's fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy, and there's still people are like, oh, there's a uh, one person who will remain nameless that I know when he found out about. The closed downs. He was like, "Oh, they're closing everything down. Well, that's BS. So stupid. Why?" And I'm like, "I just stayed quiet. I was like, <clears throat> is this someone I know?" Yes. Yes. Oh no. I wish I. I wish my job was shut down. Okay. I don't know if I. Okay. I don't know if I should complain about this, but it's been like my store has been running through a fucking pandemic, a, mm. a fucking wildfire, fucking protests, fucking everything this year, and I'm just like, can I just stay home for like? Like a while, please. I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and I'm like, but I also live under capitalism, so I'm like, I have to like work to survive, kind of thing. So it's right. like <sighs> tragic. So the wildfire thing is particularly bad, right? Because mm. like I um, saw those pics, dude. That was <laughs> dude. So not just that, but like I work in a hardware store, right? And that wildfire was maybe about 20 minutes from where I work, right? So the thing with the being in a hardware store is there are numerous flammable objects in that store, right? No like, kidding. Uh, so lumber. not only is there wood, right? There is also fertilizer. There is also aerosol cans to spray paint, right? There is also propane tanks for forklifts. This whole this whole area is like a huge time bomb, like a ticking time bomb, right? I don't know if it's a time bomb, but like if ignited, it can be quite the explosion. 
just going to put that out there. And they're like, yeah, we're still going to have overnight crew work during the wildfire. And I'm like, great. Even though there was like fucking smoke in the building from the wildfire, Jesus. like 20 minutes away. It was bad. We had to wear an N95 mask inside the building. It was really, really bad. And it's like, no, you know what's more important? Making money for the company, boys. Get back. Oh, down. my God. And then the second one you ask for like a, like a fucking raise, like a substantial raise, they're like really fucking weird about it. They ghost you on it. And it's so fucking frustrating. Uh, <sighs> sorry i'm getting i'm getting like pissy about this but it's should uh, we just I, end this in this I'm pod right now <laughs> so don't i don't know well don't uh, worry i will send you a link well you're not in my state so it's probably this not isn't really an uplifting note to end on <laughs> i mean do you want to do you guys want to end on an uplifting note like i don't have any uh, oh. oh yeah that's right we're all depressed that's why uh, <laughs> i'm uh i am almost but... done with legend of korra and it's it's pretty good <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it's more like Legend of Bora, and I'm like, damn. Hey, nah, damn, dude. No, nah, she is she a dark skinned girl that could beat me up, and I'm kind of into that. Why does she have to be dark skinned to beat you up, buddy? What's that supposed no, to be? No, she's your dark skinned and she can beat him up. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, okay. it's gotta be both of those. Oh, if it's you're dark the combination. If, yeah, if you're dark skinned and can't beat me up, then I'm not into you. It's a double win. <laughs> <laughs> Don't beat me up. Don't touch me. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Stay away from my safety zone. Just, just <laughs> this is my no no square. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll end it there then. All right, cool. uh, well, I'll, hang on. Also, um, I'm going to be, I'm finally going to start working on 2019 in review. Uh, sorry that it's taking so long. I'm so happy. If you need help with that, buddy, please feel free to ask. Yeah, like if you just I'm need help in general, I'm, dude, very I'm, I'm here for you. Yeah, it's no problem. <laughs> Like nothing, not, it's just like lots of things have gotten in the way. Um, but yeah, it'll be done. And then after that, we'll probably open up 2020 in review signups. All right, I'm not going to be on that. I'm just going to say that ahead of time. I'm not going to be on that. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. 2020 yeah. in review is canceled. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. I don't like when, how, w that's the question is like, when do you guys want to record that? You know, like, I don't know. That was, I mean, this, uh, those episodes like it's were already fucking thing. mid November. Like, I'm like, oh, mm. like by this time last year, we were already recording parts of 2019. Yes. We are. Well, the thing is, like, I think we started planning for it around like September or even August. Right. I don't think it was very that early. early. Uh, well, I, I do remember talking about it in September. At oh, least. Mm. Yeah. do you remember that the 12th September? Yes. Yeah, nice. yes, I do. <laughs> um. No, I, I'm just like, I don't know if I'm going to like the, the problem is I didn't watch a whole lot of shows last time. And I just felt re like personally, I didn't feel great about that. Like, I don't know if I should be posting something where I didn't watch a lot of shows. It didn't mm -hmm. sit right with me. So I'm like, I don't see myself watching a whole lot of anime like this year. So it is what it is. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm in, I just try to go at my own pace now and do what I want to do. Yeah, but yeah. So let's make sure that whoever yep. edits this and mutes out that part in the middle. And oh boy, <laughs> the, the oh, point oh, of doing worry. these was that we weren't going to edit these. Yeah, that's the thing is okay. I'm not going to lie. It's I was really confused why edited. we were recording worry. this. Like, it why not just quick. why not just stream it? Like because then there would be no editing at all. Like you just, that's, the, the, that's this is my only request is that we we bleep out the the yeah the, the AMV's thing. Okay. For, for, now. Do for, wanna, now. for now Loki I want to continue like I don't mind doing these but it's like I feel like we should stream these instead because it's like I thought that was the point was like these were weekly and it's like that takes a long time to edit this shit right no it doesn't. It, doesn't it doesn't have to well I mean the point of like I mean like I mentioned that I wanted to have like it was good that it's good that we have these on streaming platforms and in order mm -hmm. in order for to do that like just to make sure the quality is better like all we were going to do was just sync up like we have Craig to record the mp3s for us and then we were just going to like sync them up in whatever and render it as an mp3 that would take like no time at all so right. it's like you know bare minimum just have a podcast out that's what um but yeah that's but like wouldn't that make more sense if we just streamed it just to have a podcast out yeah but the yeah. the quality of it wouldn't be so good i'm just talking for like streaming platforms right, right. i feel oh, right. okay it takes no time to line the tracks up and just like take out 
some stuff and then render it. I think at, at, at least no, are you going like... to clean all the audio? Are you going to take out the times when I'm drinking my energy drink? Fuck that. Because I don't want to hear that. You're just going to take out that. stuff that needs to be taken out. You need in, to fact, if, in fact, I was specifically eating candy at the beginning of the podcast because I wanted people to hear that. I want you to hear extra noise. I okay, I was going to eat something, bullshit. but I was like, you know what? I don't want people to hear me eat something. No, I want I want to be distracting. Cause... I want to be loud and obnoxious. Uh, I want you to hate me. See, I am a little <laughs> too like I don't know if I don't know what the right word is, but I'm like I'm too nice about that. I'm like I don't really want to like <laughs> ruin the recording with that shit. So You're a nice guy? Not yet. Nice guy. Fuck yeah. I, I guess I am a nice guy. Well, we do need well I have obviously I want you guys to hear my dad vacuuming. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. It's fine. The house is clean. But in, in any up. case, like this, Wait, was, does I think... he have the does he have the lights on despite the the sun shining? He, he does. The lights are on in my house right now. Just he said that to me the other day. Just the other day, the lights were off. He walked in. I was cooking, and he's like, "Hey, turn on the lights." And I was like, oh, "It's noon. The sun's shining through. We don't. Oh god. Oh. But in any case, I think this was like still a good learning experience for like, oh, yeah." yeah. Mm. For whatever this was, we'll whatever we learned it. out of from this, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's some lesson that we we. Uh, yeah, have yeah, shop about any have shop beyond though, the good like... internet. Internet, uh, <laughs> that's one of them. <laughs> well, uh, I will say this though: these are legitimately fun. They're good. They're fun. Yeah, it's just a way to keep up and a way to just keep each other yeah. sane during. This. I don't know if they'll be weekly forever. Like now, we did two in a row. I no promise there's going to be. I think. Week. Yeah, I think we can't point. do it weekly. We can't like call it the weekly ass podcast, which is <laughs> sad. I mean, if, I mean, if one of us only shows up, that'd be very interesting. It's like, hey guys, so it's just me. So let's talk. All right. I think the point so was it's like just a solo video. You know, I think like we can show, absolutely right? guarantee at least two people every week. But I think it was um the point I think we where, should like, try like a solo podcast one of these days. That'd be crazy. That'd be different. You could do that. That'd be experimental that. for us. I think yeah, the point yeah. was um to release one every time we didn't have like a real episode. Yeah. So right. in a in a week where time. we have impressions or retro or something else, then yeah. none of these. And who knows? Maybe next weekend, uh, twenty nineteen interview will finally. Probably not. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. 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 Could be. Sometime test was a good time. Well, we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Uh, all right. Maybe even H6 will come out. Yeah, yeah, dude. And then people people will try it out. Maybe I've had H6 2021 get hype. been like bamboozling bacon. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, dude. It would be funny. Dude, don't, don't bamboozle. I'm, I'm sick of being bamboozled. Oh, God. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Look at me. And I seriously need to pee, so I'm going to bounce. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna bounce too. Cool. Yeah. Were so, we yeah, sending? Thanks for the... listening. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, listen to the new "Bring Me the Horizon" EP, Kingslayer Song of the 2020. And With check out metal. check out Song Machine. Um, watch me stream Dank and Rumpa. I do all the voices. Yeah. <laughs> it's really dumb and bad. <laughs> and, <I'll... laughs> and I might play Last of Us. We'll see. We'll Ooh. see how I feel today. You're gonna retake your hometown yeah cool. or i might play punch out again i was playing punch out the other day and it was very frustrating but it's okay the old one or a new one uh snes nice yeah yeah I, they did remake it for a wii yeah i saw i saw i remember that i'm not gonna i'm not hooking up my wii my computer Ooh. Yeah. too many wires too many wires you just yeah, i mean <laughs> played legitimately it's no weird. no yeah. work out for another time Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Bye. Right, goodbye. There Bye, you. everybody. <laughs> and cut. Do you want the Audacity file? Uh, yes. Because I'm going to need some jobs anyway. <laughs> <laughs>